California dreaming about you. Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to learn how we can display the images that the user sent uh, in our chat activity. So it will be really simple because we'll be using a library called Fresco Image Viewer, uh, which I'll show you in a second, and this will allow us to display the images as easily as possible. So I'm going to jump right into the uh, my Google Chrome, and uh, I would ask you to uh, open up the Fresco Image Viewer in the GitHub. I'll place this link down below, so don't worry about it. And I'm going to show you how it works. And they have this um, GIF running here, uh, which it shows you exactly how it works. The only thing that you have to do to get this to work is to use this piece of code, which is uh, you provide a context, a list of URLs that you want to display, uh, of the images that you want to display, and the starting the position of that list. Uh, uh, so if you chose two, it will go to the array list dot get two and get the URL of that image uh, and start displaying from that point. But you'll understand and you'll see the how it works um, physically in a second. Right now, the first thing that we have to do is to go into the Fresco library, which is another image view. So this Fresco image viewer is a um, continuation of this Fresco which was developed by Facebook and it is um, an Im image displayer that uh, Facebook developed and we are going to grab this implementation jump into our project and going to build Gradle and we'll just uh, drop it in here and we'll do the same for the Fresco image viewer it has the implementation that you need somewhere in here let me just check okay here it is but it, it still has compile so we'll, we'll have to change that to implementation okay and right below it copy and paste that now sync it and let's just give it a second okay so after that's done we have the library that we need uh, both of them and we are ready to get the images from uh, the database I'm going to uh, quickly come in here. So, to get the images, what we have to do is to go uh, for each and every single uh, message and loop through the media child, getting all of the um, URLs that we have in here. Okay, that's all that we have to do. And to do that, we have to first get ready uh, to, to get the message object ready. So, right now, as you can see, it has only this but we need it to have an array list uh, that will contain the URLs. So let's say array list string media UR, uh, I URL list, not URI because we'll only get the URLs at this moment. And now simply grab this, paste it in the constructor and do this. Okay, just as we normally do. Now we implement the getter and we will only need the getter. We don't need to, to worry about uh, anything else. And I forgot the L, okay, URL list. So I'm going to quickly fix this and there we go. Okay, so now the object is done. We can close that up and we are ready to go into the chat activity and an error will appear here and as you can see from here it is at the moment where we create the message and the reason is because it is now expecting another argument which we aren't passing and we'll uh, implement that right now so first of all we need the array list a new array list in here string media url list equals to new array list Okay, and now we simply say that if, uh, if, yes, if data snapshot dot child media dot get children, uh, get children count, I'm sorry, get children count bigger than zero, 
then this means that there is something in inside the child media and so we are able to look through it and get all of the all, all of the data that's inside it so let's simply create a for in here for data snapshots not this data snapshots media snapshots two points and now we simply do data snapshot dot child media dot get children and this will loop again this will loop through all of the children that are inside the media uh, child whatever it is then we simply add the media to the uh, media URL list URL list dot add media snapshot dot get value dot to string and that's it now all that we have to do I'm going to give it some space here all that we have to do is to pass these arguments uh, inside here and the errors will completely disappear okay so now as far as far as the getting of the image everything is done and uh, now all that we have to do is to go into the message adapter and we are going to change some things around in here so i'm going to go into the item message and i'm actually going to add a button uh, which will uh, say like view media and anytime the message contains media then um, the user will be able to see the button and will be able to click it and when the user clicks it uh, then uh, the fresco image viewer will appear and will be able to do this that's shown in this gif okay so i'm going to first of all engulf these text views in um, a linear layout and okay the orientation will be uh, vertical again and this orientation of the main uh, linear layout will be horizontal i'm going to place a view in here so that we can uh, distinguish whenever uh, the images change the message change so that we have a divider and we could actually use the divider inside the recycler view because that there's an option in the layout manage uh, viewer but yeah i'm just going to go with this and say background give it a color whatever it doesn't really matter giving white I'm going to put it at black height it will be 1 dp as you can see a line shows up close that up and now I'll simply place the button with wrap content wrap content and the text will be view media id I'll say view media again or display media okay view media it doesn't really matter so um, it should uh, be working right now and as you can see okay okay I'll change this to wrap content and this to wrap content okay so right now it should be uh, just fine I, I'm not really worried about uh, the the UI at the moment so I'll just move on and say button and view media this is inside the message adapter don't forget it and add the button to the find view by id so view media and it isn't working for some reason okay i'll just don't worry about it because we are in the right place you probably just have to clean the the project and this error will disappear but for now i'll just do uh, the on click listener so holder dot m view media dot set on click listener new on click listener and this is the part where we just go into the fresco uh, image viewer and grab this piece of code the simple usage so as you can see 
we need to import the image viewer. We need the context, which we currently don't have, and we'll have to, to find a way to do that. And we need a list and a starting position. So the starting position will always be zero because, well, the first position is zero. As for the, the context, v.getContext, uh, the view it is, is this view right here. And as far as the list, we simply do um, message list dot get holder dot get adapter position dot get media URI list. And the holder needs to be declared final. So let's do it right now. And that's it. Um, and now it should be just fine. So Let's just uh, run the app and see if everything checks out. Okay, so the app finished loading and I'm here at uh, messaging uh, the chat uh, activity. And if I click view media in the last one, then the images pop up. And yeah, that's exactly what we need. However, there are a couple of issues that I forgot to, to handle. The first of which is I only want the view media to appear whenever there is actually media, which we haven't implemented yet. And there is yet another problem because I forgot to initialize the Fresco service, which is something that you need to do, otherwise the app will crash. Okay, so the first and foremost, we need to, I needed to go inside here and the reminder, it says, don't forget to initialize Fresco in your application class. So you need to copy this and I'll just go into the main page activity and paste it here, right below the set content view, and then the error will disappear. You only have to initialize the service, and after that it is all set and done. And I'm going to close this, and uh, as far as hiding the, the buttons go, I'm just going to say if message, and I'm going to grab this because it is the same message list dot get whatever dot size or dot is empty where yet then we'll simply hide the m uh, view media and view media dot set visibility gone and this will hide the buttons that aren't meant to be there so i'm going to run the app again and see if this time everything checks out Okay, so here we are. I'm going to close this, go into our database. And as you can see, only the last three messages have um, media in it. Okay, and you can check it all. Yeah, so only the last three are meant to have media. And if we go inside here, only the last three have media. And if you go here, if the second one has two, and the images are the same, unfortunately, but yeah, it is fetching from different locations, so don't worry about it. But yeah, everything is working just fine. Uh, right now, the app is basically done. I mean, there, the main goal of the, um, the series has been completed. Uh, we, are, we have a functional uh, chat application. Now, all, that's the, all that I want to do is to... Um, get the bio of the of the, the chatting groups ready get the groups ready because that we still haven't done implemented the way to select multiple users to join the a chat and then take care of the bio of the user itself so we are basically done uh, right now uh, it is all extremely easy things that to do so but yeah uh, we'll get it uh, done in about two or three weeks and after that, I'll work on the redesign and release that uh, for you guys as well. So, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.